All right. I don't been complaining about how many trailers there are. This one I'm doing to myself because this was not a trailer that was hyped. This is not a trailer that trended. I don't care. I love the Muppets. There's a trailer for Mayhem. What does that what does it mean mayhem in relation to the Muppets? Well, if you're a Muppets fan, you already know. For the rest of you, you get to find out. The mayhem? They taught Molly Crew how to shred and party. They tattooed their name on me when I was passed out. What? <laughs> I was 7.5. These guys go hard. I was in college the first time I saw the Mayhem play. I grew up idolizing Dr. T. I bought gold grills just to be like him. <laughs> Say cuckoo coo coo choo Well, we got a little sidetracked by the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. A two, three, four. <laughs> I'm Nora Singh from Waxtown Records. I would love to help you make an album. Well, all right. Oh. All right. What's happening? I think animal digs you. I dig the animal as well. <laughs> God, of I've been course. I've my entire life for an Electric Mayhem album. Finally, somebody is making it happen. Okay, it begins. I like. How about you? Yeah, good animal. I don't think I would have thought we bring the old school and you bring the new. How about a hot music collab, huh? I think animals all ready to lay down our drum track. I wouldn't have thought to ask for an Electric Mayhem series. What? But... What? I don't think the band is digging any of this. But I'm here so for it. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> you feeling this? Yeah, yeah. We did it. See? Happy. They're always happy. We... Watch. Hey guys, look. I got a fork. Hey. <laughs> you showed us there's a whole world beyond the mayhem. Da, 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 da. It's trending. You did this. With one tweet, you started beef with all of music. <laughs> and our vengeance shall be swift. I like this show. Lots of drama. Let's get back to you doing what you do best. I'm ready to roll with it. Look well, good, because we're ready to rock with it. We're gonna rock. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to the mayhem. Rock, rock, we're more than just a band, we're a family. Rock, 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 rock. Electric mayhem. Oh, they have crammed so many people into this. Thank you. Doesn't get any weirder than that, am I right? Which they should. That, ah, yes! It's a Muppets tradition to cram in. Uh, see this camera? Yeah. Okay, do not look into this camera. No, 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 no. Action. <laughs> I don't care that that's a dumb joke. Talk about a cliffhanger. Disney Plus is gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <they> watch. <laughs> I love the electric mayhem. And like, here's the big thing for me with this. You know what vibe this gives me? The sense of tone and feel? The ABC Muppet series that only got one season and y'all bitched about and you didn't appreciate, but was great. I will, I will never stop going to bat for that show. That show was really, really good. And this has that same feel. It has that feel of, you know, the, the behind the scenes, the mayhem, which was always kind of an element and an aspect of things like in the, in the original Muppet show. But like that got brought more to the forefront in that series. And that seems like the main thrust of this. But instead of being like, and the Muppets are putting on a TV show or, a, or something on the theater. Like, no, it's the band. Let's follow the band. Let's, let's have a series version of uh, this is Spinal Tap for Electric Mayhem. Yes. <laughs> All the yes. Because I love these characters. Like, I love Muppets in general. I do love a lot of these characters specifically. I love Animal. I love Janice. I love just, oh, Floyd, Zoot. Dr. T, like, they're all great. I think Floyd's up there, though. He's just always so, so you know, oh, hey, animal man. You just got to chill. Oh. Some of the voices sounded a little bit, there was a bit with Janice's voice that didn't sound quite right. But, I mean, it's also possible to, you know, re-record that. Or they might not. Like, the, the thing is, these are no longer being done by the original performers. Sometimes the voices shift with new performers. It happens. You deal with it. As long as you get the heart of the character right, I can work with that as long as it sounds generally pretty close. Because, um, I mean, I've had to make that adjustment with a number of Muppets over the years. Because, you know, 
Various members have retired or passed away, and thinking about that bums me out, so we're gonna move on. But I like the Muppets. I think they work good in a series format. I think they work ve- work good. God, that was terrible grammar. I think they work well <laughs> in a series format. I think they work well in half hour chunks. I uh, like, and I love some of the Muppet movies. Um, I love the original Muppet movie. I like the, what was it, 2011 one? That one was great. Um, I love uh, Muppet Treasure. I like, they can do very well with feature length, but like, honestly, I feel like they're more at home in shorter format. I think they can go a little harder, lean a little more into the nonsense because Muppets should be nonsense. And this is so loaded with cameos, which if you're doing this kind of story, this kind of music mockumentary is a perfect vehicle for a butt ton of cameos. Bring them on, have them be, have the gags be lousy, have them be cheap. I don't care. If anyone who says that Muppets like, oh, they're too good for that joke. There is no joke too low for the Muppets. They will go for the low hanging fruit every time. And I love them for it. I might be more excited about this than anything Marvel's cranking out this year. <laughs> Mayhem. What do you think about this trailer? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patreon pays the bills. Enables me to do this as my living. Any help that you can give is of great assistance, even if you can't. Like, share, subscribe still helps me out. Don't worry too much about that either. We take a relaxed attitude around here, man. So just, you know, come on back next time you need a break. Subscribe! <laughs> what am I doing? My thanks to all my patrons, but in particular, I want to thank Robin Moore, Zubin Lutfulla, Sarvis, Tarak, the thing that goes doink in the anime, Ruth, Oliver B., Solitary Pictures, Ulrich Bogdan, Melinda Walters, Kimu Delke, Leotha Boyd, Auntie Kate 808, Becky Sparks, Fernabilax the Poodle, Robin Powell, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casperl, Tim Price, Adam RDL Taylor, Goddess Alita, Alida? Mm, I'm not sure. Ah, David Hall, Shayla Gourley, Rosalind Bennett. You want to hear me mess up your name too? It's in the Patreon perks. I gotta work on that.